Hello and welcome to this tutorial. If you're tired of IP version 4 by now, considering how much subnetting you've done, well, welcome to IP version 6. Now why do we have a new version, IP version 6? Well, quite simply, IP version 4, even though it provided a little more than 4 billion IP addresses, is nearly exhausted. All of those IPs have almost been allocated. So, quite simply, we've run out of room. IP version 6 provides significantly more IP addresses. But don't be fooled, IP, IP version 6 isn't brand new. In fact, it's been around since the mid-1990s. However, everyone has been slow to adopt to it because they didn't have to for quite a while. Now that IP version 4 is pretty much gone, well, now IP version 6 is starting to be more and more widely implemented. Well, it's significantly bigger than IP version 4 not only in the number of IP addresses, but in the IP address format itself. So IP version 4 is 32 bits long, and we've chopped those up and subnetted, subnetted those quite a few times by now. IP version 6, though, is 128 bits long. To give you an idea of how many IP addresses IP version 6 actually provides, in order to find out the answer, the formula is 3.4 times 10 to the power of 38. That is how many IP addresses are available in IP version 6. That is many more times the total number of people on the planet Earth right now. It's huge. So in theory, we won't run out of IP version 6 IP address space for a very, very long time. Another difference between IP version 6 and IP version 4 is that version 6 is often written in hexadecimal. Here's an example IP version 6 address. So it's 120 bit, 28 bits long, which is very long compared to 32. There are some ways to abbreviate uh, an IP version 6 IP address, so we're not always stuck writing out all of the uh, entire address. There are eight different segments to the address. They are separated by colons, and there are 16 bits in each segment. Okay, so there's a different feel. Uh, it means you're going to have to be more and more familiar with using hexadecimal, and it's not too hard. We get into uh, more details in some of the more advanced tutorials on IP version 6. But for this introduction, just take note that IP version 6 is a lot better than IP version 4 in terms of improved scalability. It offers a lot more flexibility. Also, they've improved the security of IP version 6 quite a bit more as well. Because IP version 6 is so big, it no longer requires us to use NAT or network address translation. That was widely implemented in version 4, primarily to preserve IP space. Well, in IP version 6, we don't even need it anymore. And finally, IP version 6 has some really interesting features to it. One of them is an auto configuration capability where hosts can come up on a network segment without really any intervention from a network administrator and they can determine their IP address and their default gateway automatically. So it's pretty interesting. We'll be looking at a lot of details further down in some of the more advanced tutorials. But for this introduction, just take note that IP version 6 is here, and eventually we're all going to have to be really familiar with it because we've run out of IP version 4. Okay, so that's it. That's the intro to IP version 6. Thanks for watching.